All right, guys. So they're playing a Riven top lane into a Fiora, and I'm going to teach you how to beat it. We also play with one of my um, favorite kinds of setups to play with. We're playing with Summon Airy. So um, in short, we got Summon Airy, Nimbus, a Transcendent, Scorch, Shield Bash, and Second Wind. Basically, how this setup works is actually very simple. Every time I trade Fiora, my Summon Airy is going to proc, my Scorch is going to proc, my Shield Bash is going to proc, and my Second Wind is going to proc. So what you're going to get is... You know, every tray is going to do some pretty ridiculous damage. On top of that, we also heal. And then we also have uh, D-Shield for healing, so... You'll see, this is going to be a lot of fun. Like, we're going to be proccing a lot of stuff in every trade we do. Let's see if we can hold the wave a little bit. I don't want to over take too much damage, but... Alright, that's quite decent. Oh, he didn't parry. Okay. <clears throat> There's like one Q right there, by the way. That's some good damage. Hmm, didn't parry again. He's gonna go for the... Oh, not bad. Not bad. He's gonna go for the cannon. The Q went right through it. I think I might be able to get a, uh, an early kill on the Fiori here. It depends. I need to get her down low enough, and then I need to all in with Ignite. And I need to sidestep the parry. Also, I have a Diana up here. We might actually get a kill. Just gonna go for that CS right there. We have the wave stacking up. Um, the bigger the wave is, I, I keep telling you guys this, but it, it's actually a very simple uh, thing to keep in mind. The bigger the wave is, the stronger you are, since you have, like, the wave stack and it does more damage. But it also gives you options of what you could do next. That's what we're going to be using here. I think if you're a nose. But Warwick is also in the river, so we're not going to overextend. Not sure what that was. She just popped into parry. Super randomly, bro. I'm like kind of expecting Warwick to be here. Because he was in the river, but I think he also just went back. Oh, he didn't. He was apparently still in the river. Okay. That's really interesting. Well, let's go for two long swords, two, uh, two pots. Now, um, this is where we start winning the matchup. So, we just shoved in the lane all the way up here. We now bought like two items, long, two long swords. We bought two pots as well. Fiora does not have any kind of wave clear. The wave clear in Fiora is really terrible. It's it's really bad. Um, so as you can see here, I have now the item advantage. So all we have to do is thin out the wave to the point where we can actually stack the wave up again. Hopefully, force her to stay. We'll see. We sidestep the parry. That's really good. Apparently, this guy's gonna go for the old in. And there we go. So, you kind of see the, the strength here, right? If you push down the wave and you stack the wave up, you make the wave as big as you can make it, and you play against a champion like Fiora who basically has no wave clear, what you can do is you can push the wave, buy items, come back, and then kill uh, kill your opponent with the item advantage. That's that's it. basically how we wreck this guy. Very simple. Now we've got to be a little careful. Again, the Scorch procs, the Summon Airy procs, as well as my Second Wind and my Shield Bash. Oh. Uh, we've got to be very careful here. Nice. I accidentally nearly died by Fiora. I'm glad I flashed out of it. Now we go back. Hey, Spying Toaster, thank you for the sub gift, man. Thank you, Spying Toaster. As always. Well 
Again, like, hey, thank you, man, always. Like, there are a few people that literally always, always during my YouTube vids and during everything, always sub gift like crazy or, or like support me in some crazy way or another. Thank you again, guys, for always doing it. Like, you have, like, no idea, like, how much it helps, guys. Um, let's see if we can actually kill Fjord again. I have no Ignite, no Ultimate. So we have to be a little careful with the traits. But let's give it a try. Ooh, I don't have to use my shield. That was pretty good. That was nice. I kind of love this ribbon setup, I'm not going to lie. Usually, if I play summon area ribbon, I tend to go for a domination tree in the secondary instead of the going resolve. But now I'm actually going resolve instead of the domination tree, and I think I might like it even more because uh, of the shield bash as well as the second win. I think it makes only perfect sense to use it since we're trading so much with the summon area. So usually we, we would do like more damage on my uh, sudden impacts uh, from the domination tree. But now the damage is coming from the shield bash. And of course shield bash, I think it did less damage than, yeah, it did 37 so far because we haven't really got that many shield uh, traits in. Um, in general, sudden impact provides more damage, but we also have second win on top of that. So it's actually not that bad. I think she's going for a wrong. I need to get more traits in with my shield. Because then we get more damage, you know, done with the, the shield bash. But it's not the top priority. Uh, quick question. Hey, Dave, do you remember playing Dominion? <laughs> yeah, I do, man. The golden, the golden age. I'm not kidding. I loved League of Legends back in the day, man. You know what I miss the most about League of Legends? It's not really Dominion. Um, there's one thing that I I don't like Riot Games for. The fact they removed it. It's Twisted Tree Line. To this day, I absolutely hate what Riot did to the Twisted Tree Line map. It, it had a community, which I was a part of. I knew a lot of people inside that community. There's a lot of people playing it. And then Riot, like, after 10 years of this game's existence, they're like, nope. Removing the map. <laughs> the reason? No community. <laughs> I was blown away for literally days, man, when, when, when I read that and the fact that they removed it. I still don't believe it to this day. Yeah. I miss these days, man. Like, something I'll never forget, like, Riot's been putting literally 10 years of existence into the Summoner's Rift, updating it on a, on a weekly basis, and then the fact that they removed this tree line for, like, having no community, it's like Riot never even changed anything about Twisted Tree Line. They never made patch notes, only for, like, one year at most. Like, they completely ditched the entire map. So... I'll never forget. You guys love the old Australian? Oh, the old one. Oh, that was also a really good one, which they also ruined. Riot made Summoner's Rift such a good map to play on, but why couldn't they have done it with the Twisted Tree Line? I'll never understand. It's like they, they had like... Uh, they never gave it a purpose. You know? Yeah, for those people cursed, like, what that map is, it was basically, instead of 5 versus 5, it was a 3 versus 3 map, basically. So it was slightly different. I think I might actually get a trade-off here. No parry. Got you ready, bro. Aha! Amazing. 
Yeah, to be honest with you, um, I'm not saying that I don't love League. Of course, I love this game. I play it every single day. You guys know it. But if I would choose between two maps, 3 versus 3 or 5 versus 5, I would choose 3 versus 3 above 5 versus 5, to be honest. That's kind of my personal preference. Of course, like, Summer Surf has, has always been my main. But if I were to choose, I would choose 3 versus 3 more. Let's go back. Hmm, I want to get the turret, but... Nah. I understand Riot for removing Dominion like back in season 4, I think, or season 5, I don't know. I understand why they did it. Yeah. Ooh, this guy's dead. Oh, he's going for plates, he's forcing it. Aha, my man's dead. Nice. So let's take a look at some numbers real quick. See like what the setup has been like so far. Um, we got uh, 19 procs only. Wow. We haven't really done that many trades on Fiora. Not as much as I thought. I thought I had like 50 procs, but it's only got 19 procs. Huh. Only 19 procs. Hmm. That's kind of disappointing um usually with summon area you have way more procs like at least double the amount if not even more um but we haven't really had too many trades on fiora because every time we trade it was basically an all-in straight after so hmm by the times that we did trade we did like a lot of damage so it's not that bad hmm <clears throat> Let's go and get my Gore Jinker. You know, um, something that I'll never understand from Riot Games. I never will understand this. I, I've, I've been thinking about this a trillion times. I'll never understand. Riot made Valorant, this card game. Uh, there's an MMO on the way. There's, uh, there's another game which I... Yeah, TFT. There's TFT as well. Why couldn't they just have made Twisted Tree Line? Like the 3 versus 3 map? Why couldn't they just make it a separate game? Just like all the other games. Because it actually had a community. I'll never understand this. Why? Why can there be so many separate games and their communities being so small? They're just so tiny. Like, it's not even that many people that play TFT. Let's be honest, right? As well as the card game. It's not that many people playing it. But why can these games exist and the old map doesn't? Why can't they just make it separate? I'll never understand. Good. Yours bottom. Let's go back top side. You guys say TFT is being played by a lot of people? Sure there is. Certainly won't deny the fact that it's... Uh, it's active. It's got some plenty of people. I personally never play TFT. Only once. I play one game for... I don't remember why. I never really learned to play TFT. But... I've seen a community. I've seen how many people play it. Good. 
on, let's go mid. I understand why people play TFT. I completely understand why. Like, um, I, I, like it's you know strategy games. There's nothing wrong with it, right? Me personally, outside of playing League of Legends, I play Pokemon games a lot, man. Like turn, like turn-based games. I I love these type of games. I've been playing it my whole life since my since I was a kid. I love strategy games. I'm pretty sure I would love TFT as well. I'm pretty sure if I try it out, I would probably love the game. Ooh. Oh, he's so stupid. <laughs> Just in time, dude. Came out of the stuff. Meanwhile, balling. Go, gotta fix that real quick. Yeah, I hope that someday. I I don't think it'll ever happen because they completely abandoned it. But I hope that someday, Riot's gonna make it return as a separate game, like the Twisted Tree Line. I hope they will someday. That's li that's like a tiny dream I have, but it it of, of course it will probably never happen because they completely abandoned it, but. I hope that someday they make it return. Well, I could trap them here, but... To be honest, I'm lazy to wait up here because I think they're going mid lane. Maybe a red buff? I want to go red buff, but I have no vision. Oh, they're on the way here. Let me check. Drag me, bro. Oh, we did. Close. Oh, those close, dude. Uh, I'm too lazy to take dragon, to be honest. I'm going back. <laughs> My Johnny can take it if he wants. Um, I want to go Spear of Shojin, but uh, I think I have to go Chainsword because they have a Warwick as well as a Fiora. I need to go. Oh, by the way, they also have Swain. They have like three champions, which are healing, so I have to put my choice. I'll flank them. I have a question in my mind for a while now. Actually, maybe you guys know about it, but... It's Wild Rift. The League of Legends Wild Rift. I've never played it either. I don't really play against my phone. Did they put like a bunch of ads in Wild Rift? I'm just very curious if they did. I, I was actually playing a, a game on my phone yesterday for the first time in a really long time. And they, like, they dropped so many ads in, inside of that game. It was unplayable. I wonder if Wild Rift is something similar. 
What if they did that too? Oh. Nice. You guess it's ads free? Aha. Let's see. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I was playing a game yesterday. It was called... Uh, it was one of the games I used to play back in the day. It was called Magic Tiles 3. You guys probably know it because it's like... Widely known. Like the, <laughs> pretty much anyone has probably played the game at this point. I came back from it like... Playing it like back in the day. Like many years ago. Came back to it yesterday. I, I play one round. To start off the game, you must watch an ad to get into the into one map. <laughs> you start playing the game, you you die once, you have to watch an ad to restart. Or you need to buy a membership. <laughs> then you're done with the game, you need to watch another ad, and then you can finally scroll through another map, and then you need to watch another ad. And then you die again, and you need to watch another ad. <laughs> and those ads take like two minutes. <laughs> it's it's wild man like the game was unplayable i was like instantly uninstalling it <laughs> i wasn't even playing the game anymore it was literally just me watching ads like it was unplayable but yeah that, that was that's why i got the question in my, in my brain like does wild rift have ads that's how i came up with it Hey, not bad. He came up, he got away. Think he ran off this way? Nah. Hey, she said, thank you so much for the subprime, man. Thank you so much, dude. <clears throat> It's fun having like a tiny little conversation with you guys for once instead of doing the usual commentary. Different pays, you know, for the game. Uh, let's go Warhammer. Alright, let's push. Drake spawns in 45. Oh, you just kept running to be honest. Not even bothered like turning. Warwick is up here. There will be some dude coming here. Oh wait, there's also Thresh in the river. Wait a second. Oh, there's two people there. Okay. They're they're gonna rotate. They will. I can try one versus fouring this, but let's give it a try. <clears throat> I can't one versus four this by myself. I need my teammates. It's gotta be a, a difficult one. Yeah, yeah, they know where I am. I gotta walk away from this one. Choose your own path. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait. I, I love how I'm like I'm like running through their jungle. They instantly stop like trying to trap my teammate. Instead, they're going on me here. Not a bad idea, man. Not a bad idea. I still get to flank them. At least I think I will. Oh, there's a contra ward, of course. I think they might still. Nah. I can't walk into the brush, man. It, like, they're all alive. If I go in there, I'm gonna die to all their CC. It will not work. What conflict Let's go here. Hello, 7 Deadly. 1500 bits. Hey, thank you for all these bitty 7 Deadly. Again, as always, man, you come back every single day and support me. Thank you again, 7 Deadly, for what you're doing, as always.
It sucks that we actually lost Dragon here, because the team fight was perfectly playable, but... They were already trapping us in the jungle, so it didn't work. Oh, really? They're chasing here. I need a dead stance, bro. I think they're probably chasing. Ooh. Uh, we're about to get a kill here. Nice. Oh, she parried my ignite. <laughs> oh. oh no, dude. My ignite got parried. I did not expect she was going to parry in that second. Or in that moment. Unbelievable. You're joking, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's not chase worthy because I think that Warwick is up here. Let's go back. Are you kidding, bro? Ah, they see me back, Horton. Go back here. I guess we're going this way. <clears throat> My death stands. Nice. You teach me how to play Riven, you climb tanks to just you being normal. <laughs> oh, it's just normal. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, I'm glad I can help, man. Glad I can help. It always makes me happy when you guys are like um, improving on Riven thanks to my content. Making new Riffin mains in the community. <laughs> Got him. Oh, nice. Oh, he's flashing, really. I just had to land my third Q, and then I would instantly flash out the second the second it was possible. <laughs> I was literally mid air. I was mid air with my third Q. I was so close to hitting it. I am not kidding. If I hit my third Q, I would have been alive. I guarantee you, because. Uh, I could flash out. Alright. No problem. It's all good. Let's go for Spear of Shojin. I have so much damage. If I build Spear of Shojin now, I will be dashing permanently. You'll see. I'm not gonna buy a red potion. I just wanna get my Spear of Shojin. <clears throat> Yo, this game is actually harder than I thought, man. I wouldn't say difficult, but... Uh, my teammates are struggling very hard. That's why it's uh, a little bit tough. I think that a Spear of Shoujin might make a huge difference, as I can shield way, way, way more. Yep, free kill. Uh, ultimate is not is not needed here. All right, one thing I never played Yumi, so I have no clue what the cooldown is from Yumi. But I'm assuming it's probably not too high, but also not too low. I think it's more average, but that's not needed there. Not really worth it. Maybe I'm wrong and it's like super low cooldown. I don't know. I think I can walk around and kill Varus here.
That was way too close, dude. That was way too close. Like, I sidestep Warwick's ultimate. Uh, it was more... Ah, my jungler's AFK. No, no, no. Please. Don't do that to me. Why is my jungle AFK in the worst timing? That sucks. I'm full built. Uh, all I can do now is simply replace my... Uh, my lucidity boots. I want to get an item that provides me ability haste, but also damage, because I got Spear of Shoujin. Um, that will leave me with more ability haste as well. So I'm thinking about getting a... Um, a black lever as a final item, as like a replacement for my boots, because then I can dash even more. Uh, this thing gives me 20, so black lever would give more because of the AD. Also, it just gives more in general. Yo, why do I gotta miss this one? Okay, I need... I'm gonna go back here. There's not anything else I could take. Wait, I'll try something. Okay, I need a little bit more, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Okay, let's go back. I, man, I need just need a bit more. Wait a second. Wait. What's he pinging for? Okay, let's grab my black lever. I'm gonna sell my boots. I'm maxed out now. I am... Um, this is probably like the lowest cooldown you can get this. Like, it's super low cooldown right now, thanks to the Spirit Shojin. There you go. We're, like, almost permanently shielded. <laughs> so all I need is my teammates to... A what? There's a Fury here? Yo, this game is done. Okay, we need one person to defend, and that's pretty much it. Oh man, I love Riffin with with this build, man. I just... I don't know, man. Spear of Shoujin is the most fun item that Riot has released in a really long time. I just can't get enough of Spear of Shoujin on Riffin. It's, I build this almost every single game. If you can get, like, full build with it, it's just fun to do. I'm afraid I missed it. I should have flashed. I did not expect they were going to do that much damage. Where did that damage come from anyway? 1.1k from Paris. Makes sense. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, my team needs to see this. No, 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 no. Don't go in. We need to have someone defending this, man. Diana has the opportunity to go back here. She should take it. Stop taking camps, Diana. We're about to lose base. Because Diana went for a jungle camp. Uh, it's not worth it, bro. 
All right, cool. Just saving the day. Not really worth it if you ask me, man. Dino went for a jungle camp, which is... Uh, it kind of trolled the base a little bit. Whoops. Alright, we're going to be ending the game here. Once and for all. Let's go. I'm ready to kill everyone. Let's go. No, no, no. They're not going Baron. That will not happen. Good. Didn't want this guy to go in yet. Okay, the game is about to end. This is not good. Because we have... Uh, our jungle is missing. We need to for... Oh, that's not bad. They're going Baron. Okay. Go ahead. Oh man, I need Ezreal to not go base here. I can end the game, but I need Ezreal to defend. We're about to lose the base. Oh, I gotta go back. No, no pings. I am 10 times stronger than Ezreal. Just save the base, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I really wish that my teammates actually used my pings this game once. It would have made the difference. There's been plenty of moments where I could have finished the game if my teammates actually used the pings. I want my teammates to defend base, not the opposite, you know? Because I'm stronger, I can 1 versus 5. As long as the base is being defended, I can play the game by myself, but I need to, I need to go back myself every time. Which is super annoying. Okay, the game is over. Probably. They're gonna get my turret now. Is that Let's go. Yeah, yeah, we get to win. Whoops. Good luck, Fiora. You're about to face off a 21 kills Riffin on a 1.86 second cooldown shield. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck killing the Riffin here with a, with a team. Yeah, couldn't have gone any any uh, any better. Hey, this is uh, Riffin Top with the Summonary page against uh, Fiora. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube bit, and I'll see you next time. Peace.